Hey everybody, what's going on? Richard Hale here with teachingonlinebusiness.com. Appreciate you guys and girls being here. Today I'm reviewing the Super Socializer plugin for WordPress. So when you guys go into your WordPress admin, go to plugins. Of course, you want to add new plugin. And this is exactly what you're looking for. It's called Super Socializer. And this is a social media plugin. It's really, really cool. It has a bunch of different features. And I'm getting ready to show you everything that you get with Super Socializer. So once you have it in, there's a ton of different things that you can do with it. So as far as page speed, I know some of you may be worried about uploading um, a plugin as it does affect your page speed. Um, no problems with this um, very minimal is what I seen so this is super socializer it has social comment social login also social sharing so first social comment there's actually four that it integrates it integrates with your regular WordPress and it also has Facebook Google Plus and discuss for me, I prefer to use Discuss by itself. I don't use this option, but just know that this is available to you with Super Socializer. And real quickly, I will say this is a free plugin. So again, you have your default comments for WordPress, but you also have Facebook, Google, and Discuss. So as far as social login, and again, social login, just allows you to uh, be able to log in to your website using a specific social media platform. If you go to the social login, all you have to do is come over here to enable social login and just click on that feature. And down here, you're going to see the different social media platforms that you can use. You have Facebook. Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, Instagram, Zing, Twitch, and, and another one that you can add down here. And all you have to do for Facebook, you just add the app ID, go to Facebook Developers. That's a whole nother subject, but that's what is required for you to be able to use that. And you got the APIs that you'll need to add down here. Advanced configuration, this is just a bunch of different things that you can uh, keep or remove then it also has the short code and widget and the FAQ section for those of you that would want to learn further. If you're having complications, you can go there. So, social sharing. There is a ton of different things you can do down here. So, first, you have theme selection. And this is a preview of your icon. You can have a square icon for your social media buttons or round. You can have rectangle any one of those that you want you can choose the pixel size you can choose the border you can add a specific logo color if you want it to match your brand or something to that you know if you want to keep all your social icons blue or green or black you have the ability to do that with super socializer so you can add a background you can add a border you can add a counter and you can uh, put it in different positions left top right bottom um, so this first section right here, this is the uh, standard interface theme, and right here is the floating. The standard is horizontal, and the floating icon, that theme is vertical. So same features down here, and again, this is for the floating interface, which is different than the standard. Again, standard's horizontal, and your floating is vertical same exact you can change the shape size border add a logo color background color border and, and a counter so once we go over here you'll see two options the standard interface and, and again this is for the horizontal row but you can see there is a ton of different options down here that you can add I've used a lot of different social media plugins over the years with WordPress I've been using WordPress for gosh eight nine years now and literally probably I've used a few dozen social media uh, plugins and by far 
this is uh when it comes to free social media plugins it doesn't get any better than this you just have endless endless options when it comes to designing and getting the your social media icons exactly the way you want it and most people will look for their social media plugins uh, just to get the social media sharing buttons but to have the comment is cool and, and have the social login option is also cool so if you want to make sure this is gonna work you want to make sure this is clicked because this enables the standard interface and again this displays horizontal so you can add an Instagram username here I added mine just for uh, so I can display my Instagram button here because Instagram doesn't have sharing but if somebody clicks on that that will take them to your Instagram site so make sure you have your Instagram name there and all of these are the different social media platforms that you can add to your main social media sharing bar so I have Facebook Twitter Instagram Google Plus LinkedIn Pinterest reddit delicious stumble upon and of course whatsapp but there's a ton down here you got yahoo you have tumblr let's see you have flipboard you have pocket you have skype you have buffer you have dig um there's a ton literally a few dozen well over a hundred that you could actually use and all you do is check this and as you can see it adds a button up here for you to be able to use so you have a few different options you can add this bar this social sharing bar on the left the right or center I use left and down here you can choose to have it at the top of the content the bottom of your content or you can display in both areas I choose to display in both areas because my articles seem are usually long so I want to make sure I have one up top and one at the bottom and then the placement you can see there's a lot of different uh, places you can add this now I have learn dash LMS so that's why you see the courses lessons quizzes topics and different things like you don't have to worry about that unless you have learn dash LMS but know that you can integrate your social sharing platforms on your courses if you do have that you're gonna see home page post pages excerpts post pages category archives archive pages attachments so down here you can choose to show the share count you can add this new share counts and this is for Twitter there's two two different options for Twitter you can use the new share counts or you can use the open share count so you also have an option that will show the total shares so not only will it show how many times Facebook has been shared how many times Twitter's been shared but it will also add all of those together and it will show the grand total also and you can also add a enable more icon and I have that on there and of course you always want to make sure you save your changes and again the standard interface is the horizontal bar so let me give you a quick example just what I'm talking about so you completely understand so you'll notice right here so right here on the left you see this this is my floating interface if we go inside and we go to a page I'll show you exactly what it looks like here too so this is one of our blogs and you can see right here is the horizontal theme so your standard interface is the horizontal and the floating interface that's what you saw back on my home page which is right here this is the floating and with the floating you get to control this design I have it specifically here for a reason and it shows good on mobile I will add but you can kinda of float this 
anywhere on the page that you want and I'll show you those controls here in a second with the float and the interface we have the same same options same features where we can enable this we want to make sure if we're going to use this we need to make sure this is checked again you can add your Instagram username if you want to add an Instagram button you could also uh, select any of these for sharing services now you'll notice down here it's a little bit different you can add a background color you can adjust the horizontal alignment the left offset which is going to pull the uh, float away from the corner of the page there so the left offset will move it closer to the center and the top offset that controls if you want it closer up top or if you want to push it down and you'll notice that I have the vertical on the home page and on my pages because on my post that's where I have the horizontal beam so again ignore all these because they're from learn dash unless you have them you can add them to courses and different things like that but same same uh, features for the most part apply to the floating interface and the standard interface down here you can include to have all your share counts total shares you can enable the more icon you can have the vertical floating bar responsive meaning that it's going to show on uh, mobile same thing with the horizontal why they added it here I'm not for sure but just know when it comes to uh, being mobile responsive that both the vertical and the horizontal are down here and again that's under the floating interface when you go to miscellaneous over here there's really nothing that I use personally but no there's a URL shortener here and this connects with bitly for those of you that use that to shorten your links you can use that um, down here you can have a share count catch you can choose the language that you want and you can add your Twitter name and your buffer username down here and you can also enable sharing on the AMP pages and enabling this option will allow you to share icons so I don't use any of that but it may be an option that you would like um, short code nothing here that you need to know about if you're having problems you can go to troubleshooter or FAQ as you can see they have a ton of different questions down here to help you out but I mean that's pretty much super socializer and, and again um, there's a lot of different options and for those of you that just you want to get your social icons to look exactly the way you want them instead of having to go look for specific social media plugins all you need to do is get the super socializer and you can customize this to your heart gives out I mean there's just a ton of different options and there's no question super socializer for a free social media plugin I use it I recommend to all of you I use it on my partner sites I use it on my client sites I do a lot of web design projects using WordPress I've always used WordPress I've been using it for years and again I've used a lot of different social media plugins out there and really very few if any have social comment social logins and social sharing so and to be able to add as much as you can here just by click that's all you got to do click and choose instead of having to actually add the codes and different things like that it's just so much easier to use super socializer so give it five out of five stars no question so hey I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you found value out of it, please take the time to like us. Please subscribe to our channels. We're going to be doing a lot of different things on WordPress and plugins, helping you guys find the best possible plugins for WordPress. And we do a lot on SEO marketing, different things like that, teachingonlinebusiness.com. So we thank you for your support. Hope you guys and girls have an awesome day. We'll catch you later. Be good.